Um, there's a huge amount of stigma. I think even the language that we use, I, I don't mean to call you out on your language, but HIV sufferers, I, I live with HIV and I don't suffer at all. I take my pills once a day and really medically I'm fine. But societal attitudes towards HIV still haven't progressed from the 80s and the 90s when it was a killer disease and quite a traumatic one at that. So stigma is still very, very rife. Now, thanks so much for correcting me, and I promise I'll keep that in mind. Um, we were saying that figures in, in Europe are increasing. Um, why is that? Um, this is not just Europe. This is globally. So we, we're in the UK. Uh, we're very, very lucky. We have free health care for everyone who needs it. So that's free testing, free treatment and free prevention up to a point. In areas where we don't have that, we see huge, huge issues. So if we want to make a real impact in Europe and globally, this needs to be a globally conjoined effort. And we really need to have the political will and the resources and services to be able to tackle this epidemic. Otherwise, we will never see an end to it. And when you say the resources, uh, what, what are you referring to there? I mean, a lifetime of care of HIV treatment costs somewhere between 150 and 250,000 pounds. So I'm talking about a resource as in access to medication, access to services, access to support that people need. But, but, but very basic terms, there are places in the world, parts of Africa, where people don't even have access to a test. So people will go from infected with HIV to dying from an AIDS-related illness without ever having the resource to even be tested. So these are the things we need to be talking about.